Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameJube, and welcome back to a Poppy Playtime character concept series. So the character we've created for today's video is called the Patched One or aka the Patched Critter. So we'll go into this character's backstory, gameplay mechanics and all that good stuff as well. But before we do any of that, do be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Alrighty, well with that all out of the way, let's get into the character concept of the Patched One. So previously in our Poppy Playtime character concept series, we've been following the main protagonist on their journey through Critterland. And after encountering multiple different characters along the way, they have finally reached the end of this area. And it seems there's no more forgotten critters that inhabit this area. Now all that's left to do is find the exit. Each and every character has been a unique challenge for the player. Although they've met some friendly characters, the majority of them have been out to get them. The characters we've seen throughout have been Manic Monkey, Tireless Tiger, Switchy Sloth, Kieran Capybara, Bandit Bat, and Grumpy Groundhog. And although the player has met all the residents of Critterland, that doesn't mean the threat was over. Because with all these critters failing to stop the player, this made one individual very displeased. This individual being the Prototype. The Prototype has witnessed each interaction with the player. And every time a critter failed, it angered them more and more. The prototype eventually decided that these worthless critters were no longer useful, so instead they would just dispose of them all. We've seen the same done to Catnap, and unfortunately the critters of Critterland would suffer the same fate. So one by one, the prototype disposed of all of them. After all was said and done, only one critter was spared. Karen Capybara was left alone and unharmed. The prototype has another plan in mind for her, a plan that she wouldn't realize she'd be a major part of. The parts of all these destroyed critters were scattered all throughout the main area. Eventually, Karen Capybara would stumble across this mess of broken toys. Without a moment's notice, she quickly tries to repair them. But with so many mangled pieces scattered about, there was no time to repair each critter individually. So Karen Capybara did the only thing she could. In order to save them all, she sewed them together to form one large critter. It wasn't perfect, but she was running out of time. She tried the best she could, and in the end she managed to save them all. This large critter was made up of all different parts of Manic, Tireless, Bandit, and Grumpy. But after Karen Capybara was finished, she noticed something. Switchy Sloth was missing. He wasn't a part of this body, nor were any of his pieces scattered about. Maybe the prototype missed him, or maybe they didn't know he even existed. Considering he destroyed his own character bio, there wouldn't be any record of Switchy Sloth at the factory. Hopefully he got away unharmed. So for the moment, the patched up critter she created seemed to be doing fine. But suddenly this mishmash of critters morphed into something much more grotesque. The body sprouted a large mouth filled with teeth, and protruding from it were the four heads attached to strange looking tendrils. It seems that this creature has now become corrupted, just like how Switchy Sloth became corrupted after she repaired him as well. What was going on? It seems when Karen Capybara sews critters back together, they turn evil. But why? All she wanted to do was help. It wasn't clear why this was happening, but she needs to act fast. This patched up critter is now going to hunt down the player. Karen Capybara needs to warn them before the patched one attacks. So that's exactly what she does. Now we return back to the player. Finally, they've located the exit to Critterland. After everything they've been through, now they can escape this area. Hopefully they're not too far behind Poppy, and maybe there's still a chance that they can find her. Just as they approach the exit, a large metal security door slams shut in front of it. Now what was it? The player looks around to see all the doors in this area have been sealed shut. It seems that a security protocol is now in effect. But what could have caused this? They turn back around and see Karen Capybara is right behind them. This was a pleasant surprise. The two of them managed to meet up again. But it wasn't under the best circumstances. Karen Capybara explains to the player what happened. She tells them that she accidentally made a monster out of all the forgotten critters. And now this patched up monster is on its way to stop the player. Also, the security scanners have never scanned a monster of this magnitude. And whilst it's still moving around this area, the security protocol has kicked in. 
The only way the doors can open again is to stop this patched critter. She explains that the critters who make up this monster are too far gone, and now there is only one solution. Both the player and caring capybara have to lead the patched up critter to the incinerator room. Here, they could effectively destroy it for good, but they need to move quickly as it's on its way here right now. So both of them make their way to the incinerator room to get prepared. Once the patched critter gets led here, then they can take it out. Now the player just has to find it, but that doesn't take very long at all. The patched one finds the player as they're walking down a hallway. The player sees this hulking monstrosity with their own eyes. It's made of multiple different body parts, and each of the critter's heads are protruding out of this creepy looking mouth. Whatever this thing is, it surely isn't the critters it once was. And there's no trace of them inside this creature. It's now just a corrupted mutant who is set on ending the player. Suddenly, the patched one starts charging towards them. The player springs into action and starts running towards the incinerator room. All they need to do is make sure it stays there long enough and then they can toast them for good. But the patched one is faster than it looks. The player has to keep up the pace and run as quick as they can, because if they slow down for even a second, it would all be over. Eventually, they both make it to the incinerator room. Now, Karen Capybara and the player have to act quick. They quickly climb up to the upper level and activate the controls. So, in this gameplay segment, there's a number of different controls that need to be activated. Karen Capybara would be in charge of the flame emitter, and the player would need to hold the patched one in place with the remote crane. If they both work together, then surely they could destroy this patched critter. So, whilst doing this, they would need to dodge the attacks from the patched one as well. Each time, a different head would launch towards them. The player would need to bat it away just in time to avoid being attacked. Karen Capybara would also be open to attacks as well, so sometimes the player has to stop what they're doing and protect her. Once they latch onto the creature, she would then activate the flame emitter. A stream of fire would jet towards it and burn it to a crisp. But eventually, with all its massive strength, the patch one would shake free. So they both need to repeat the process until the patched one is no more. Eventually, they would get to the last stage of the battle. Just before Karen Capybara delivers the last volley of flame, she hesitates. She looks at what she created. The faces of all her friends stare back at her. But the truth is, they aren't her friends anymore. In the end, what they've become is another twisted toy creature that haunts this factory. She should have never put them back together again. For the first time in her life, she shouldn't have cared. But that's not in her nature. She just couldn't do it. And at the last second, while she hesitated, the patched one took its opportunity. It quickly strikes Karen Capybara with one of its heads. The impact immediately knocks her out. Now what's the player going to do? They can't hold the crane arm and press the flame emitter at the same time. It looks like there's nothing they could do. As they hold the patched one in place, it gears up to strike with all four heads directly at the player. Just as it strikes, one last jet of fire incinerates the patched one. The player looks over, and to their surprise, it's Switchy Sloth. He's arrived in the nick of time and activated the flame emitter. The final jet of flame reduces the patched one to a pile of ashes. Finally, it's been defeated. All of a sudden, the security protocol is lifted and all the doors once again open up. Karen Capybara wakes up and is conscious once again. Now, all three of them head towards the exit to Critterland. They say their farewells to the player as the player makes their way out of this area. Both Switchy Sloth and Karen Capybara have agreed to stay in Critterland. They need to stay here and protect any new critters that arrive in Critterland. As the player exits this area, they continue their journey to meet Poppy. The player has no idea what new challenges lay ahead of them. And as to what challenges they'll be, we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, it's an absolute and it's greatly appreciated. As always, do be sure to let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of the finale to the Critterland arc for our Poppy Playtime character concept series. This isn't the ending of our Poppy Playtime character concept series, but it is the ending for this specific arc in general. But don't worry, we still have many awesome stories to tell in the future going forward. But once again, we hope you enjoyed the ending to the Critterland story arc and the whole story arc in general as well. But that's all we have for this story arc and for today's video. So thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.